Okay, okay. Okay, good game, nerd, good game. Okay, so the audience, you know what I'm saying, in the comments, you know, they want to all know, you know what I'm saying, what happened to little Kelly after Ferguson, man. Say, you know what, I wish I could tell y'all this. I wish I could tell y'all what happened to little Kelly after Ferguson. Uh, I hope little Kelly's still alive. The Kelly was a motherfucker from what you were saying. <laughs> the Kelly was past the motherfucker. I, I man, uh, any, you know, I had the guy that the guy on that hung Kelly out for free rope. He hit me the other day and told me he said I'm the one that picked Kelly up and I was holding him off for three rope. I was gonna drop his motherfucking ass. <laughs> I said, damn, cause I'm glad you didn't do cool like that, little Kelly like that. <coughs> 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 Tell us from a crib. I didn't have some run in with some Cali nigga. Little Cali was the stiffest. LA? You didn't have yourself shit. LA was a bully. Then you got Cali's and you got LA niggas. LA on Ferguson. Tell us from a crib on Ferguson. Can I give you one? Y'all don't give it to him, man. Get your raw out, baby. Let me get my raw out. I, got, I, I really want to raw this nigga too, because that nigga was raw. L.A. use a bully, nigga. L.A. big stocky nigga. He walk around the hall, you know. He, he, you know, you know, get, he get his L.A. straight off, you know, everywhere he go. You know, he, he scrap business on. And every time, you know, he always talk about, you know, how he want to fight, fight, fight. He be fighting. He, he one of them niggas every time he catch him in a hall or, or in a cell somewhere. He always run up on niggas, you know. Shooting the shit. Yeah, I, I, my thing is, you know, huh. You know, I see, I, I would see him do that to niggas all the time. Run up and get the play, bam, bam, what's up, nigga? what's up, what's up, nigga? what's up? And then some nigga be like, man, I don't feel like playing today. And then they gonna keep on. <sighs> you know, he don't give a damn if you get serious or not. You wanna fight? Shit, you know what I'm saying? Then, man, come on now, man. And then nigga, LA, he was on that type of shit. But LA never fucked with me, you know. I was, you know, but, you know, LA had a, you know, look in his eyes, you know, he always kept that, that lip. Man, that nigga hurt, man. You know, he wasn't them. I used to watch this nigga all the time. Because the bigger the nigga got, because when he got there, uh, he had a certain size on him, but after he was there for the last four or five months, he got a little bigger size on him. The whole story got there, me, you know, sprouting out. I said, okay, this bitch ain't that nigga. But, but then, the bigger he got, the more aggressive he got. Uh, shout out to my nigga rolling 60 Mookie, man. One time, him and one of my potty stand shit, this and that, and this and that, and this and that, and so on. Nigga go to the, um, um, nigga tell me same person, um, Mookie in L.A. from the fight. In the dish room, man. I said, who? He said, Mookie in L.A., nigga. I said, oh, shit. So, Goddamn nigga called me up to the nigga said, man, I said, nigga's already scratched. He said, yeah, yeah, nigga, you know, getting they scratched. I know, I know Mookie's gonna fight. Mookie out of Dallas. Mookie out of D-Town, rolling 60 out of Dallas. Goddamn, he pleasant grow over here. God damn, he said, yeah, I'm going to scratch one. So I called him to the one in KC. And they said, man, Mookie won't shit at the gate. And I said, OK. I run up and I get up, go check him out. What's going down, Mookie? I looked at him. I said, God damn, nigga. He said, oh, yeah, man, nigga got me. L.A. got me. Ooh. I said, damn, nigga, did you like that? L.A. put that work in on the nigga? He said, what? Uh, let me give y'all Mookie game, though. When Mookie was fighting him, he slipped, he shot one, he missed, and he hit the end of the, the corner of his hand on the on the end of the dish machine. Broke the shit. And the shit was already said, yeah, man, on the first hit, I broke my hand. I tell the nigga I'm, I'm good, the nigga wouldn't stop. Well, let me let y'all know this is the penitentiary back, niggas. Yeah, all you tough-ass niggas, anything can happen in a fight. Ask Mike Tyson, nigga. <laughs> Ask Evander Holyfield, nigga. <clears throat> Ask Muhammad Ali, niggas. Anything can happen in a fight. I ain't seen the greats go down. That's one thing I ain't never did in my life is hit the flow, niggas. <laughs> I ain't been hit by some hard money. <laughs> Even Mike Tyson went down. Even if Van Holyfield hit the flow. I'm, I'm going to keep my record and go and put my gloves up there and call it that and stay out the motherfucking way. I'm going out without hitting the flow. I ain't going to say I ain't lost now from toe to toe, but uh, I ain't never hit the flow. But anyway, when Mookie swung, he broke his... He ended up faintly showed it to me. He said, look at my knuckle. Way back here, man. Yeah, cuz got down. I said, he said, what? He said, nah, nigga went on and freaked him out. You heard me? Nah. Cause by damn, you better pull that hoe back in place, ho, <laughs> and get back to work. You hear me? He said, nigga, hold on, let me get this bitch right. You know, pop it, do something, cause you don't have to use that. Go and break it up. That's what I'm gonna do, shit. If it's broke, I'm gonna go and break the hoe up. Cause, um, this bitch ain't gonna be in, I'll beat it back there. 
Yeah, bitch, you gotta get shit. I did that before I knocked the knuckle way back here in my hand. That bitch still back here. I knocked, a knuckle, I knocked my knuckle way back here in my hand one time fighting a new. God damn it, I couldn't do nothing. Stick, pop it back and stick it in the toilet and let the cold water goddamn me try to hit. <laughs> Keep flushing. But anyway, um, we were down at home. My pocket got a little partner named D-Lo. Shout out to D-Lo. D-Lo, one of the hardest niggas. Everybody know the D-Lo story, man. I can run that down on Square Business too. Y'all do not want to fuck with D-Lo. D-Lo was my bodyguard. My second bodyguard, I purged the little baby D and I had D-Lo. Uh, everybody know my D-Lo story. D-Lo is the truth. The truth. Uh, I, 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 I put this on everything in the world. D-Lo would have uh, been in the, in the ring with Mike Tyson. He'd have whooped him back then. That motherfucker, the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They always tell y'all niggas, this niggas in the pit that can whoop some niggas in them rings. Yeah, you got damn right. You got damn right. Well, D-Lo was one of them. That was my little pot. He was number 24 years old. He's been down there, for, been down there since he was 14 years old. They rested his ass at this old little white school out here in Fort Worth. He said he tried to rape some, rape some little white girl because he was a star football player. The white little girl tried to give him some coochie. He said he got a chance to fang him, but he didn't kiss him and didn't do nothing else. He said when they got ready to leave, the other white kid seen him was like, ooh, he's going up that black guy. And she felt embarrassed. She felt fucked up. Then the white kid seen her and she yelled. The money nigga got down on him. They never got a uh, 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 semen or nothing, nothing. They just because just she was away, and you know what time, and nigga, you gone. Yeah, you gone. And he been gone for that long. Now D-Lo, um, D-Lo about 27, I heard he on Kofi. I heard he just knocked the lieutenant out on Kofi. D-Lo was supposed to be been home. We had a jack problem. We get into that, you know. I love that. That's my nigga. But yeah. anyway, um, me and D-Lo, we was, um, we was going to um, work that morning. We seen L.A. in the line talking to some more niggas, you know, you know, about the fight with him between him and Mookie. I wasn't paying no attention, but you know, D-Lo, I'm gonna tell you something, D-Lo is a shit starter. D-Lo square beating. I ain't gonna say a shit starter. He institutionalized to the fullest. You can't look at him. He don't want you stirring at him. If he look at you once, you still look at you. He take me look at you again, he get at you. Immediately. Immediately. What the fuck is you looking at, nigga? I be like, D-Lo, come on, man. That man ain't looking at you like that. No, come nigga, the fuck staring at me and shit, nigga. What's up, nigga? And he do that to any and every motherfucking body three and four, five motherfucking times a day. I said, somebody gonna get you, man. He ain't cut that shit out, D-Lo, man. We got a goddamn problem. Ain't nobody said, man, now. And then he used to come to me and tell me shit like, now, cool. Now, ain't this nigga over staring at me. Man, he just looking this way, D-Lo. And the D-Lo look, man, what the fuck is you looking at, ho? And he'll go out. But anyway, D-Lo was in L.A. business that morning. And over the ear hustling on L.A. telling niggas um, what he did to Mookie, how he did him in the dish room. So I'm like, God damn it. So I came on, D-Lo had his towel around nigga. He was like, she pissed me off, fool. I said, what's wrong? He said, that nigga was talking quick business to some civilians, dude. <laughs> I don't know about D-Lo. I already know it. This bitch. See, one thing about D-Lo, he, he, knew, he knew what to say around me to get me crunk. You know, throw something. Yeah, man, they gonna talk crib business to them niggas over there, man. They gonna spill good discussing what he did to a crib. To see these niggas, these niggas ain't no game, baby. <laughs> well, you got a point. <laughs> you got a point. Yeah, cuz, that, that shit ain't right, cuz. They wanna tell me about how he did the crib, cuz what the crib you got, but leave that to, leave that to yourself, cuz. Here I go. What he really doing is telling me. Like, you keep. He over there, such and such, you gonna, yeah. So uh, here I go, I make him shut the fuck up. I, I walk up to LA, now don't say, look out of LA. I said, cuz we don't discuss crib business with no other niggas, cuz. And he said, what's up? And I'm gonna tell y'all something. I was just on point on the what's up that was, you know, I'm gonna I'm 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 react off the real. When he said, what's up? Yeah, nigga, what's up? Fuck you mean, what's up, nigga? I said, that's how you get out? He said, what you mean, nigga? I said, that's how you, you fighting like that? He said, hell yeah, nigga. I said, when we go in here, then we get inside here and go to work, then let me see how you fight then, nigga. Who that, LA? Oh, yeah, square up nigga. I'm, I'm the truth. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't turn down nothing. I can't. I'm being looked at. I'm being tested every day in this motherfucker. See, these niggas, the penitentiary was just a penitentiary. Uh, three hots and a motherfucking cop. Nah, nigga. I, I stayed, my, my foot stayed in the world fucking war. I was in war. And anything and any sign of war, nigga, I gotta react. So my sign was, it was something, nigga. When he said, 
That's how he that's how he doing it. He let me know, nigga, that's how he doing it. You understand me? When nigga, but nigga, the nigga hit his hand on the thing. I know Mookie got something. You just end up getting Mookie when you got the, you thought there was something to talk about. But anyway, um, my little partner D Lo, he run up on me, say, Cuz, what's up, what's up, cuz, what's up, what's up? Y'all gonna get there? I said, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get there with that nigga. Fuck that nigga, you finna scratch. You know, yeah, they said, yeah. I said, that's how you get down? He said, yeah, nigga, that's how I get down, nigga. I said, well, let me see. You fight like that? He said, yeah, I fight like that. I said, let me see then, nigga. He said, that's what's up, nigga. I said, we going here to go work, nigga, let's go to the bathroom. He said, that's what's up. Uh, yeah, so D-Lo run is, you know, D-Lo don't give a damn. I said, cool, cool, cool. I said, let me get, let me get second. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know niggas always want to scratch neck. But D-Lo just be wanting to get into something. I'm like, nah, I'm cool, D-Lo now. It's a grown ass nigga right here, cuz. You know, nah, nah, come on, cool. Let me just get, come on. Nah, I'm cool. Nah, you can't go in there playing with this nigga. You gonna try to hurt something, nigga. Nigga ain't finna go in there playing with you, D-Lo. He said, what's up? I said, well, cuz, come here, cuz, can my little homeboy, can you get the back door on that? He said, D-Lo? He said, oh, yeah. He said, oh, yeah. I, I, I'm looking at him, he said, oh, yeah. I said, D-Lo, he just want to hurt you, D-Lo. You understand? Because he's grown, <laughs> yeah. Nigga, that's grown that nigga back there. He said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, matter of fact, let me get him out the way first. <laughs> exactly what he said. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, LA wasn't no hoe. Shit, you talking about? So, goddamn, me walking that motherfucker, I said, D-Lo. And, and I was like, I was like D-Lo, let me just go ahead and do this. You know, it's when you lose the draw on mine. I get out there nice. So goddamn me on. See, if nigga get to beat me up, I'm, I'm gonna come up out of there. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna let nigga just, just shit can't be. I'm gonna I'm bop, 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 bop. Okay, get up out that door. Oh, that's so, over. You got something, nigga. See, I'm a real nigga. I know when a nigga got something, I know when they don't, nigga. I'm not gonna hold it over your head if you don't. And I'm not gonna throw it over your head if you do. I'm gonna let you know. Oh, you square bidding. Oh, get that, nigga. Don't watch me, we ain't locking up or nothing. <laughs> but watch this. We got inside the thing. We got by the bathroom, we checked the security, you know, we'll see where the guards were there. I'm like, see, where the guards? They said, they gone. Like, I said, come on. I said, he said, yeah. Dino said, come on, cool. Let me. He said, cool, let me get Dino out the way for him. He said, yeah, yeah, come on, nigga, come on, come on. I said, Dino, don't go in there playing with that nigga, man. Go in there playing with that nigga, Dino. You know, Dino always, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it. You know, when that motherfucking for the first round, I, I was standing by the door. See, I said, yeah, y'all go here, go. That's how we fight. You know, ain't nobody around, ain't no big crowd, ain't nobody holding. It's just you and this nigga in the restroom, nigga. Fuck y'all talking about. And them niggas got to eat, so I peeked in on the scratch. Uh, D-Lo quit bullshitting. That nigga, that nigga scratching with D-Lo. Nigga scratching with him. D-Lo, I said, man, look, you playing. I told you. And they had him up against the door. I said, now nah, look at him. We know we don't do no. So I'm y'all some Ferguson rules. Ain't no such thing as wrestling or grabbing, nigga. We don't do that on Ferguson. Straight throwing hands. Oh, that, that's, it's against the rules. It's got three rules. No grabbing, no wrestling, and the third major rule. You better not never kick a nigga. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> you better have you something. <laughs> Ain't no grabbing, holding. Now, now, now. Now, you. Everybody in there bitch, hey man, what you doing? We don't do no grabbing over here, nigga. Ain't no such thing grabbing, ain't no holding. No, 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 none of that. That's, that's forbidden. That, that's, that's, that's like breaking, that's like breaking God's rules over there. Them niggas, you can't grab. I used to tell a nigga like this, cuz, that's a seven old nigga. I'm not finna sit in there, I grab with me, you nigga. He said, no, nah, cuz, you can't grab. I said that one time, and I seen them niggas looking in their eyes. I said, I grabbed one of them. He said, no, nah, because you can't grab nobody. Nigga. You can't grab nobody. You can't grab nobody. What the fuck you mean, nigga? What? He said, no, nah, because you can't, can't grab nobody. The way they were saying it, was like, nigga, you better not never grab a nigga over here. Uh, make a long story short, let's go here, man. Uh, D-Lo went in the bathroom and started mixing it up with the nigga. D-Lo, goddamn me, punch drunk the nigga on one, 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 on one, on one of his punches. I seen it. I said, ooh, that was good, but the nigga ate the hoe. I don't know, that ain't nothing. You know, he stabbed himself in here, that ass. And he said, yeah, he said, yeah, come on out of D-Lo. He said, yeah, what's up, person? What's up, person? What's up, person? Oh, I'm on my way. Shit. Watch this old D-Lo. As soon as I get in there, I'll mix. We get in that blender. Bam, bam, bam. He tried to stand there. You can't stand in that blender. He was too loud. I just seen you fight him with your head down. I beat his motherfucking face off. I catch him on the bottom of the chin. Nigga fell. And his motherfucking chin up against the edge of the toilet. Um, well, I bet y'all know what I'm putting attention, nigga. Ain't number sti steel <coughs> and concrete in that hole, nigga. Shit, fuck y'all talking about? That's that iron. 
They fed hit his and that shit knocked a whole motherfucking chip in the bottom of the chin. You understand me? Uh, by this time he got up, I hit him on top of his mouth and I split his lip. Rap Charles and Tyler gave him three stitches across the top of his mouth. I'm hitting this bitch ass hard. By this time, God, then he come out, I'm like, okay, that's it, he good. And he said, yeah, you good? Yeah, I'm good. I got that. My partner, Kalo, came in the bathroom out of nowhere. You know, he said, cool. He just coming to use the bathroom. He said, cool. Came in the bed, see what's going on in there, nigga. Oh, uh, shit. We ain't scratching. I said, shit, nigga, you want something? <laughs> he said, oh, yeah, shit, let me get something in there. God damn it. Came out his little old necklace and shit. He got up in that plane, the nigga L.A. was like, okay. Yeah, they were pissed out. Nigga, oh, nigga, you want some too, nigga? Yeah, they want some too. Got in there, L.A. got up there. And K. Lo did, the, the, you know, 18 years showed me why he was nice. It was quiet. <laughs> but nice. But quiet. Didn't say shit to nobody. Took that shit. Oh, yeah, let me get some of this. And took this shit out and walked up on that nigga and did a roll on that nigga so pretty and, and, and went to work. I said, ooh. Please teach me that. Uh, by this time, y'all, uh, as y'all know, Ferguson, you, you niggas don't know Ferguson like I know it. Uh, we have a thing over there called politicians. Uh, crips. Politic crips. Niggas that always got something to say about something or something go on but don't never want to do a motherfucking thing. You got niggas over there that always want to see a fight but don't want to do no fight. Oh, they want to see one. Everybody want to let this shit there, there. Put a kid in another nigga back for another nigga go do something to another nigga that they wouldn't do they motherfucking self. Bitch ass nigga. Well, let me tell y'all something about on Ferguson, about OG person on Ferguson. The politicians stayed up with they, 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 they It's like they had a, um, a built in task force working for them. It's like anything person do that ain't in our league, that ain't in our order, um, let's just, yeah. And this, you know, they try to find ways to get me violated, kicked off the staff. They don't want him calling shots. We don't want kill, we don't want you in no kind of control over it at all, but I always play by the motherfucking book. But you know, it don't take nothing for one nigga to tell one nigga something, and I gotta go to court. I gotta go to crib court. Even though I am calling shots, you still got a panel, nigga. You got a goddamn me on. It's bigger than you. Tell from a crib, nigga on. That nigga LA went down the hall. And told them niggas, the politician nigga, that we, he got jumped. Wait a minute, hold on. Oh, and that's all the politician crib needs to hear at the time. OG person, what? What happened? Oh, we got it. That's a violation right there. Oh, because I know the niggas didn't do that. Because I know niggas didn't do you like that, LA man. Yeah, look at my shit. Nigga, nigga jumped me in the bathroom. The nigga told him he was jumped. Now, uh, from what I understand, when you get jumped, nigga, it's three of them on the same, at the same time. But when a nigga back door, back door, back door you, that's not a jump. Last time I checked, that wasn't getting jumped, nigga. That was just a back door, nigga. That mean you got a fresh start with each ass, each, each one of them niggas. You got a fresh start. Uh, let him tell it. So cause them like, cause you, hey cause, uh, no. And they had a politician crib named KB, man. R.I.P. to KB, he died on Ferguson. Uh, KB did not like me for nothing in the world. He wanted my ass dead, gone. He been there like 16 years. And, and I was just too much. And he, he was the nigga gonna put in a stop the OG person that I was, they just told KB, KB said, hey, cuz, y'all jumped on the homie, cuz? That's how KB came to me. Understand me, you know, no, 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 no question, because anything, they got something to do with some fucked up shit against person shit. KB with it. So when I seen K and KB, I already know, nigga, I ain't never turned him down and nothing, he, whatever he want to do down, nigga. Shit, nigga, we can get there. That bitch fight hard, hard too. I don't fight hard, bro. I ain't never turned it down. So KB ran up to him. I say, cuz, y'all jumped on the homie, cuz. Cuz, that's how y'all did the homie, cuz. Cuz, that's how y'all gonna do the homie, cuz. Cuz, yeah, y'all coming to wreck tonight. Come on, all three of you niggas that jumped on the homie, cuz. Oh, cuz, you not gonna ask me what happened. Yeah, yeah, it's just whatever he said, that's what that is. And so goddamn me, boom. I get the word, I like, nigga, we, I'm gonna come to wreck anyway, nigga. That's what I do, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? I'll be out there, yeah, yeah, come on out to wreck tonight. Yeah, I'll be out there, nigga. What the fuck you talking about, nigga? Oh, y'all gonna rock? LA said I jumped on the bitch. So I come right down there to the nigga block window while the nigga down there. I said, where LA at? He said, goddamn, LA over there. I said, cuz, you running in the about we jumped on you, nigga? Cuz, y'all know what y'all do, you go. <laughs> and all these niggas was standing behind LA, like, I mean, he sold that shit on his block. They with him. They, everybody, whatever he said to that, oh. 
Oh, I see what's going on. Well, don't worry. Y'all come and Rick today. I'm going to put cases on every last one of you motherfuckers. Shoe, <laughs> shoe program, motherfuckers. Yeah, every last one. I'm going to put cases on every last one. Because you can see it in their eyes in the background, scrub bitch. These old ass niggas that really don't fuck with you. They back there looking like, yeah, girl, y'all jumped on code. Y'all jumped on code. Y'all ain't going to ask me. Ain't nobody going to never ask me what happened. Nothing, you know. It, it, so you know what? Fuck what happened. We just gonna go to Rick and see what they talking about. Now, when I show up to Rick with my squad, I know. I oh, now I know we here. All you get, yeah, all you, all you tough nigga up stand, keep standing behind him over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, 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 don't come over here. You want them niggas yeah, stand over there? Okay. Yeah, stand over there with that nigga that y'all walked out here with. Yeah, cause don't, cause, cause y'all already see what's behind me. Shit, everybody, square business. Fuck you talking about? Yeah, and, and they ain't, and they ain't, and this, this, this team I bring with me when we hit the red, y'all, we don't come to do no talk. And, and they, ain't, they ain't coming out here for nothing. And they ain't coming out here for nothing. Shit, and my nigga just saying that, man, coming out here for nothing. I already know me either. Shit, that means there ain't nothing gonna be solved but some violence. And y'all already know we here for the violence, nigga. That's what we came for. The squad is there, and we was in good enough. The whole, team, yeah. So LA, what were you saying? Now they want to explain what happened. I don't want to talk about what happened no more. What happened? That shit is over with. What we out here for now? Yeah, yeah. Let's get to that part. Shit, y'all talking about, nigga, ain't no. Cause we just trying to find out what's going on. Cause nigga, what's going on? What we out here for? Shit. What we finna do? We finna run that back with you, LA. How about that? Yeah, I'm gonna run that back with you right now in front of these niggas. Let niggas know I don't jump on nobody. You understand me, nigga? We ain't lose a job, nigga. I'm gonna give you 52 seconds right quick. So, man, we're gonna get that out the way. Let niggas know this. Me and LA <laughs> scratched right out the way. He got right after. We got a little 52 seconds in. That was over with. Uh, no win, no lose, no draw. We scratched. Goddamn me. Bam. Uh, his little partner that was standing behind him, I wanted to see him too. Because he was cheerleading. He was cheerleading because I heard when L.A. got after her, he said, yeah, L.A., take care of your business, L.A. Take care of your business, cuz. Take care of your business. You said, guess what, nigga, you next. When he finished taking care of his business, you get out here and take care of yours, nigga. Sideline trip. Get that nigga some pom pom. Now, nah, I'm getting a little too high, because that's how I used to get out there. I used to get crunk. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. You niggas have my adrenaline rushing, man. Uh, a lot of these niggas ain't built for that shit. You niggas stay the fuck away from that motherfucker, man. Uh-uh. That's my motto.